Okay, let us do question number five. Here the question is the container shaped like a cylinder. Container shaped like this cylinder. Okay, container shaped like a cylinder. Uh, right circular cylinder having diameter six centimeter. So radius will be six and diameter twelve means radius will be six centimeter. Radius will be six centimeter and height 15 centimeter height is 15 centimeter is full of ice cream this is full of ice cream okay uh, okay and ice cream is to be the ice cream has to be filled in co into cones of height 12 centimeter this height is 12 centimeter and diameter 6 so radius will be 3 meter okay 3 centimeter sorry 3 centimeter having hemispherical hemispherical Step on the top. There is a hemispherical shape. What is the radius of this hemisphere? Radius of this hemisphere will be 3 only. Radius, this radius will be 3 only. Okay. Radius of the hemisphere also will be 3. It is actually it is a it is of this shape. This shape this. Okay. So this this hemispherical cone. Okay. If, if you divide in two parts, then you will get a hemisphere, uh, uh, sorry, a cone and a hemisphere. Alright. Okay. Now find the number of such cones which can be filled with the ice cream. Okay, you have to find the number of such cones that can be filled with the ice cream. Now let us answer. Okay, so what you have to do? Number of number of ice cream cones that can be filled. So you can write number of ice cream number of ice cream cones that can be filled number of ice cream cones that can be filled is equal to is equal to volume of the volume of the cylinder volume of the cylinder divided by volume of the ice cream cone volume of volume of the ice cream cone now ice cream cone means there are two parts of this ice cream cone one is hemisphere and another is cone okay it is equal to volume of the cylinder volume of the cylinder by volume of the cone plus volume of the Hemisphere, volume of the hemisphere. All right. This is equal to now volume of the cylinder will be pi capital R square capital H, and it will be volume of the cone will be one by three pi R square H. Okay, one by three pi R square H plus plus volume of the hemisphere will be 2 by 3 pi r cube 2 by 3 pi r cube is this point clear so this is equal to pi r square h pi r square h bar here you can take 1 by 3 pi common 1 by 3 pi r square if you take common r square if you take common 1 by 3 pi r square if you take common 1 by 3 pi r square if you take common here h will remain here plus 2 r will remain h and here 2 r will remain all right yes then it will be equal to it will be equal to here pi pi will get cancelled this pi and this pi will get cancelled and this 3 will go to the numerator. This 3 will go to the numerator now. Right? 
yes then it will be 3 into r square h and it will be r square into h plus 2 now if you put this values then you will get the answer now 3 into what is capital r capital r is 6 into 6 into what is h capital h is 15 <coughs> all right then small r is 3 3 into 3 into what is capital uh, what is small h small h is 12 plus 2 into r small r means 3 okay so now let us cancel this uh, by 3 this will get cancelled by 3 if you cancel 2 times so it will be 2 into 6 into 15 by so 6 6 plus 12 is 18 correct okay now if you cancel it again by 6 it is 3 times by 3 it is 5 times okay this is 3 times by 3 it is 5 times so this is equal to how much this is equal to 5 to the 10 10 therefore 10 is Yes, 10 cisquins can be filled. Therefore, therefore, 10 cisquins can be filled. 10 cisquins can be filled. Now, here you see the cylinder, okay, with this ice cream, you have to fill up this. So, n into number of ice creams will be n into volume of the ice cream will be equal to volume of the cylinder. So, this is how we can solve this problem. Thank you.